Our objective for today's lesson is students will be able to write fractions greater than 1 as mixed numbers. So a fraction greater than 1 has a numerator that is larger than the denominator. For example, 27 fourths. As you can see, 27 is the numerator and it is larger than the denominator 4. Another example, 18 halves. Well, the numerator 18 is greater than the denominator 2. So we don't want to keep these as improper fractions. We want to rewrite them and create mixed numbers. A mixed number is a mix of a whole number and a fraction. That's why they call it a mixed number. So it has a whole number such as 3 and a fraction such as 1 fourth. The whole number is 3. The fraction is 1 fourth. Another example of a, mix, of a mixed number is 6 and 1 third. The whole number is 6. The fraction is 1 third. So today we're going to create and make fractions greater than 1 into mixed numbers. So here is an example. 36 fifths. This is a fraction greater than 1 and we want to change it into a mixed number. So we are going to use division to solve this and make it into a mixed number. So we're going to say 36 divided by 5. So our first step is to divide the numerator by the denominator. So we're going to say how many times can 5 go into our numerator 36? Well, if you're looking at this number, we see that 5 cannot go into 3. So we're not going to start there. We are going to start in our ones place. We cannot start in our tens place. So we'll put a zero above our tens place to say that we cannot divide into that number three. But we can divide into this number 36. So we're going to say how many times can five go into the number 36? Well, think of your multiples. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Oops, you might have realized, well, 5 can't go into 36 evenly, but it can go into 36. It can go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So we can go into 36 7 times, and we would say 7 times 5 is 35. So now we're going to subtract 35 from 36. 6 take away 5 is 1. 3 take away 3 is 0. So we have an answer, a quotient of 7 remainder 1. Your number 7, which is your quotient, your number 1 is your remainder. Your number 7 now becomes your whole number in your mixed number. So now you have 7 as your whole number. Your remainder here, 1, is going to be your new numerator in your mixed number. So you are now going to have 1 as your numerator. And your denominator is going to stay the same as it was in your original fraction greater than 1, which was 5. So it's going to stay 5. So 36 fifths becomes... 7 and 1 fifth. Let's try another one. So we are going to try a fraction greater than 1. 23 6. And we are going to divide. We are going to say how many times can 6 go into 23? This is the first step is division. So think of your multiples of 6. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. Oop, too much, right? So let's see. It cannot go into 23 evenly. So think of your multiples. 6, 12, 18, 20, 24 is too much. So 6, 12, 
18. Okay, we didn't go over with 18. So we're going to say 6 can go into 23 three times without going over. And 3 times 6 is 18. Now we're going to subtract 18 from the number 23. Well, 3 take away 8, we cannot do that, so we need to go to the tens place and borrow 10. So this 2 tens is now going to become 110. This 3 ones is getting 10 added to it, so it's going to be 10 plus 3. So now we have 13 ones in our ones place. 13 take away 8 is 5. 1 take away 1 is zero. So we have a remainder of five because six cannot go into five because six is a larger number than five. So a larger number cannot go into a smaller number in division. So now we have a quotient of three and a remainder of five. So our quotient three is now our new whole number in our mixed number. And our remainder 5 is going to become our new numerator in our fraction of our mixed number. And our denominator is going to stay the same. It's going to be 6, just like it was in our original fraction greater than 1. It's not going to change. So our new answer, our fraction greater than 1, 23, 6, now turns into the mixed number three and five, six. So I'm going to do this one last time to give you one final example. And I'm going to go step by step. So fraction greater than one, 28 thirds. Again, we know this is a fraction greater than one because the numerator, 28, is bigger than the denominator, three. So let's do our first step. Our first step is to divide the numerator by the denominator. So we are going to see how many times can 3 go into 28. Well, 3 cannot go into 2. So we'll put a 0 there. But 3 can go into 28. Well, let's think of our multiples of 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Well, 30 is too much, so we're going to go back and we're going to say 27. That's not too much, so that was 9 times. So 9 times 3 is 27. So we will say 28 take away 27. 8 take away 7 is 1. 2 take away 2 is 0. So we have an answer of 9 with a remainder of 1. So our quotient now becomes our whole number. So our quotient 9 becomes our whole number. Our remainder here of 1 is going to become our new numerator. And our denominator is going to stay the same as it was in our fraction greater than 1, which we started with here. So it would be and stay the same as 3. So 28 thirds, rewritten as a mixed number, is 9 and 1 third. So let's go over the steps one last time. Step one is to divide the numerator by the denominator. Step two, write the quotient as the whole number. Step three, write the remainder as the numerator. And step four, keep the denominator the same as the original denominator in the fraction greater than one. So. That was your lesson on how to write fractions greater than 1 as mixed numbers.